633 now the frustration is boiling over in Fayette County as kids start their fourth week of school at home this morning and tonight a protest led by parents is planned outside the Fayette County School Board meeting on Main Street in Lexington. Back in early August, Governor Andy Bashir recommended Kentucky schools wait to begin in person classes until September 28th at the earliest pending a decline in positive COVID cases. That recommendation, along with staffing concerns, are just a few reasons Fayette County Public Schools said they decided to begin the school year virtually. But dozens of parents tell us they understand in-person learning is not best for every family right now, and they'd like the choice as they are worried for their kids' long-term education, mental health, and socializing skills. Parents also tell us they've reached out to Fayette County Public Schools and the school board pleading for a change, but they say hundreds of emails, phone calls, and other forms of messages have gone mostly unanswered. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky sat down with several parents to learn more about why they want their students safely back to school. Push play. All right, I think we got them started here. Started on yet another day of virtual learning in the Hoskins household of five kids, kindergarten through seventh grade, with a single working dad at the helm. They told us that it was going to be totally different than it was in the spring, and it's not. It's not totally different. It's the same thing. My kids have in-person in person Zoom learning for three hours a day. My day is eight hours with, the, in, with school. So they get it. They're in front of a Zoom teacher for three hours. The other five's on me. Nathan, like so many other parents, are dealing with failing or missing technology. Kristen Childress's two sons have the devices, but she says they still often get kicked offline, causing tears from her kids who want to learn. The mom who really values education has a decision to make. Do I let this continue in my home for the next two hours, or do I close it and move on to something far more productive and positive. What kind of message am I sending him? Is education really that important that we're willing to shut it down for the day? In addition to day-to-day at-home classroom stress, hundreds of Fayette County parents say they're confused over Fayette County Public Schools surveying them back in July, asking what their preference for school was this fall because 69 to 72 percent said they were likely or somewhat likely to return to in-person school, yet the year started virtually. It really didn't make any sense to me that they decided to not go with that at recommendation that we know what's best for our children our community does and as a collective whole we made that decision for children to go back they did not listen to that okay so why ask us if you're not going to listen nathan says that lack of response is one of the reasons parents like him plan to protest tonight he says their goal is to have a conversation about putting their kids back in the classroom i think that there is no method for collecting information from parents right now on what's happening to us. There's no method for us to give them feedback. I, I need them to give me a method to give them timely feedback. I need metrics. I'd like to know what metrics they're using to assess the situation. I want them to know that we appreciate them. We appreciate that this is a thankless job, that especially in the times of, of pan the pandemic and nobody expecting this, that they're trying to make decisions um, that they feel would benefit the majority. However, it's time to step back and know that the majority of their students are in trouble right now. In trouble, and parents say it's not for anything they did. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News. And Claire Kopsky reached out to Fayette County Public Schools to find out what they say is the best method for parents to convey their thoughts and concerns. It's been more than three days and we still have not heard back. Over the weekend, Fayette County School Board member Tyler Murphy posted on his Facebook page saying he still is committed to, quote, returning to in-person instruction as soon as it is safe, responsible and sensible, end quote. He said the public health realities as well as the district's capacity to handle the virus will play into the decision. Murphy also wrote tonight during the school board meeting community specific data from the state should be announced as well as an update from the district on technology for students. The protest put on by parents outside the Fayette County School Board meeting is scheduled to start tonight at 6 o'clock.